Hello my lovely babies, welcome back. Today's video is all about the Gimlet. So this is the Gimlet, Gimlet, Giant, um, by Smoke or Smock, however you want to pronounce it. This is a new tank that they have developed. Here is what comes in the packaging, plinth, extra coil, and I'm just gonna double make sure that there is a coil in here. There is. Interesting coil too. So this is stainless steel Pyrex glass tank. It has a lot of glass and an interesting look. Here is the tank itself. Removable drip tip. 510 connection on the bottom. Both of these coils are 1.5 ohms. So as I couldn't really show you earlier, but you know the two holes, there's two coils in there. And this is a five mil capacity tank with three different adjust adjustments for airflow. I'm going to fill up this tank with some Mr. Cookie. This was my very first favorite e-liquid ever. And I still vape it to this day. I've loved it for a few years now. Hopefully this tank's good and does justice to my Mr. Cookie, which is almost gone. So I'm gonna let that wick up for a while because I noticed that unlike most sub-tank coils and things like that today that have really large drip, or uh, that have really large juice flow holes, whereas this coil has several teeny tiny ones. Two teeny tiny ones there, and two teeny tiny ones there. And they have four posts here on the bottom for better connection. So there's three different adjustments, but there's two airflow holes. So there's two airflow holes on either side at three different sizes. Here is the smoke logo. This feels like a really heavy duty tank, but there is so much glass that I'd be so afraid to drop this. All right, so this has had a long while to wick up. I'm gonna go ahead and vape it for you guys. I have it right now set at the smallest airflow hole setting at 15 watts. And the MVP version three is reading this at a 1.6, which is close enough to 1.5. I'm getting a lot of vapor production from it, but not a good flavor. Like it's not able to wick up enough. And I suspect that with such small holes, but I'll try it again. I mean, the flavor is all right. I just feel like you can't take like a super long pull or you're going to run into wicking issues. Like that, that was perfect. Anything longer than that might be a little too long for this tank, but I'll go ahead. See, that's what I thought. Any drag a little bit longer than a few seconds is going to taste a little bit dry and I think that's due to how small the juice holes are in the coil itself but a small puff you get all right flavor from that now that is the tightest airflow so I am going to open up the airflow and see if that'll help I'm on the second largest airflow setting now It definitely cools off the vape and lessens the dry burniness of the end of the inhale if you take a long drag, but still the same. This is, I'm getting just like wanting to take short drags from this. Well, actually naturally I wanna take a large pull from it. Oh my God, do you guys hear that Stellar J? How annoying. I have my window open because it's hot as shit in here. You know, it's not too bad. The more I am vaping it, the more the flavor is there. Only I just feel like those are too small of holes for the flavor potential that I'm used to. I 
But if you like a good mouth to lung inhale, this is, this is all right. Smooth hit, I mean nothing wants me, nothing is making me want to cough or anything. So that is definitely a good sign, especially with the above ohm style tanks. <clears throat> I am getting a huge vapor production from this. I'm gonna turn it down. It's at 15 watts, so I'm gonna turn it down to 12, because that's where I vaped. That's where I vape my Aspire K1, which is an above ohm atomizer as well. And we'll see if, if 15. Maybe it was just a little too hot for this. That did the trick. Oh yeah, the flavor is great. 12 watts seems to be a really good um, setting for this. I am going to open up the airflow all the way now, so it's gonna probably be a pretty airy draw. I do like the airflow draw on this. There is a noticeable difference between settings. I like that the best. The flavor is delicious, and I'm freaking blowing clouds like a dragon with this, and it's not even a sub-ohm tank. Wow. Like I said, I'm used to sub-ohming, so I'm used to large clouds, intense flavor, but for the people who aren't interested in sub-ohming and want to stay above ohm and like a tighter draw mouth to lung, this is a really awesome tank. I'm pretty impressed. And I honestly, I wasn't gonna bother with a one month update, but because these coils are so different from what I'm used to and other above ohm tanks on the market, I do wanna do a one month update for this guy. I definitely feel like I need to get some protection though for me, Butterfingers, if I drop this guy, this is a full block body glass tank that would shatter and that would suck because I don't have a replacement one. So this definitely gets a thumbs up from me as far as my first look review. I'll go ahead and vape it. Wow. I like it. I'm actually impressed. Surprised. I'm surprised that I'm impressed because I didn't think I was going to be, but I am, so that's awesome. So if you have any questions about the Gimlet Gimlet grr, Giant Tank by Smoke, you can comment below, or I will put a link to where you can go check this out if you want. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more reviews. Check the description box below for important links, like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram or Twitter at Tia Vapes. I also have a Facebook page, facebook.com slash Tia Reviews. If you don't get enough of me here, I do have a second vlog channel here on YouTube where I like to upload completely random videos of whatever I want. So if you want to see more of me that's not vaping related, you can check out that channel. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please consider joining Kasad.org and fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia Vapes and thank you so much for watching guys.